Hello, I'm Wei Wei Xie. I'm 2018 Beckman Young Investigator funded by Arnold Beckman Foundation. It's my great honor to introduce my work and my future plan in this video. I was I was funded in the 2018 for finding the new super high TC superconductors using the chemistry perspectives. And uh, I really appreciate the strong support from the Arnold Beckman Foundation. And we built up our quantum material lab. Okay, so how can we make the new quantum superconducting materials? Usually when we have a good idea, and then we will work in the lab. So this is the Arnold Beckman Foundation Quantum Material Lab. So let's see what usually what we do. First of all, we will prepare the materials we are going to make, okay? And after that, we will seal the tube and put the materials into the furnaces, you can see here. And after the reaction, we always get the beautiful single crystals. And then we will perform the powder X-ray diffraction to find the phase, and as well as the single crystal diffraction to determine the crystal structure. And after that, we will measure the superconducting properties. The whole system here is funded by the Beckman Foundation. And then we can make the new superconductors. Okay, so after we make the new superconductor, we usually to study the, um, study the theoretical part of the superconductors and try to understand the materials better, as well as help us to design the materials later. So during the four years uh, funded by the Beckman Foundation, we find a lot of new superconductors as well as a lot of new quantum materials. For example, this is the like niobium rhodium to boron to, this is a very high temperature superconductor with the extremely high uh, magnetic uh, critical field. And as well as we have another superconductors, the very interesting one is the ytterbium. Um, platinum 5 phosphorus, which we discovered in 2020. And uh, this material has the co-magnetic as well as the superconductivity. And uh, this year, the new material we find is the lithium terbium selenium to here. So you can see this, this Jack's cover papers. And uh, it's the critical for the understanding the quantum entanglement in the superconductivity. So in the past four years, we also discover other new quantum materials when we are looking for the new superconductors. And in total, we published the more, than, more than 40 papers. And besides the work we did, we also focus on training the students. And uh, you can see uh, my first graduate student, Shin Gray, and he worked with me from the 2016 to 2020. Now he is assistant professor at the University of Pittsburgh, and he is still working on the finding new quantum materials. And then my second graduate student, Madeline Michelle, she graduated, she just graduated, and now she's a postdoc fellow at the Oak Ridge National Lab. So besides this one, my group, we are really appreciate Arnold Beckman Foundation. And we had a lot of troubles during finding the new materials and we failed a lot of times, okay? It's, we, we talk about what we achieved, but actually we also have a lot of like failures during the time. But every time uh, we never give up. I think that's what we learned most from the um, Dr. Arnold Beckman. And, uh, and we want to keep continuing, okay? So what we are going to do, and of course during these four, year, four years, we also try to explore in other new directions. For example, for example, uh, what we are doing is using the high pressure as assistance to search for the high TC superconductors. Here we have an example, also the lithium YB selenium tube. What we did is we make the new material at ambient pressure, and then we pressure, pressure it under the, uh, then we press it under the high pressure and uh, study the resistivities to see if it's a superconductor. And the lithium YB selenium tube itself is a very good quantum spin uh, liquid candidate. So it's an insulator, the band gap is huge. And then by we pressurize it, we close the band gap, close, 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 and around 100 GPA, okay, around 100 GPA, it's very high GPA. And we see there is a superconducting signal coming out. So this is very cool. 
And the second one is we try to use the high temperature, high pressure methods together to synthesize the new materials, which potentially to, uh, to be the high TC superconductor, as well as to understand the high TC superconductors. So for example, strontium iridium O4, this is the material people say, okay, this is the system material of the high TC superconductor, lanthanum 2, copper, oxygen 4. So what we did is we pressure this one under the high pressure, high temperature, and we find a new phase of the strontium 2 iridium O4, and it's non-central symmetric, and this material is more similar to the lanthanum 2 copper oxygen 4, better than the ambient pressure phase. And we are studying this one and try to understand what's exactly going on at the high temperature superconductors. And another direction we are working on is using the machine learning to find the new superconductors, but we are based on the small data instead of big data. We try to study each groups of the superconductor in details, and then we try to understand these superconductors very well, as well as to search for the new superconductors. So in the end, I would like to say, um, we expect to find more and more new superconductors. And we really appreciate Arnold Beckman Foundation to give us the opportunity. And this whole quantum materials lab cannot be built up without Arnold Beckman Foundation's support. And we believe, we believe, we will understand the quantum materials from the both chemistry and physics side very well, as well as we will find a new way to looking for the superconductors as well as other new quantum materials. So, and in the end, I want to say thank you. Yay.